Welcome back. Let's play XCOM. We just lost the soldier, sadly. But uh, Asgard has promoted and is becoming a fine sized soldier. And we still got plenty of people uh, waiting for some action. Also, in three days, we got psionic testing for Godfrey Dot here, Linkso Gorman, and Gravy Train. And who knows, we might get lucky again. Sadly, nobody is gifted. Who's next? Miss Vermoyne. Looks like you're not going on a mission anytime soon. Tim Sheep. And... I'm gonna wait with uh, Klazira on because I might bring her on a mission. Him or her, I don't remember. Let's see. I want a very large... Come on. 130? Why not? A very large, please. Don't give me any terror sites or that nonsense. No gift in these guys either. Got uh, one soldier left. This was 10 days down the drain in like uh, 30 seconds. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We got uh, almost 4,000 credits. Maybe it's time to start uh, getting uh, the usual plasma rifles and get rid of uh, the alloy cannons. Even though they're fun, they're a bit unreliable. What's this? Another supply barge. This one has landed. 19 aliens. Objective harvest life specimens. Why? This one has a sector pod in it. Oh god. Ethereal mutant elite berserker. Heavy floater drone. No cyber disk this time. But it does have at least one sector pod. 19 crew. I hope this was a good idea, you know, postponing the final <laughs> mission. Uh, this one is still not very large, so... This is gonna be very similar to the last one, except more difficult. I'll assemble a team and be right back. I did mention that I would get Archangel armor for everybody. Now I've got plenty of money, and I was checking, it doesn't require any flight computers, which would have made sense. So I can easily build a bunch of them. And um, I think the protection they offer is pretty much the same as the Titan armor. I'm kind of thinking, why the hell not? Contact detected. Hang on. Here we go. We got Godfrey Dito, our support, who's still looking for his first kill, even though he's a corporal. He's been on three missions, zero kills. Terrobite, Asgard, Mafato, Greg, Draco, and J-Man. It's pretty much the same group of guys that did this mission last time. It took out all the alloy cannons. And there's only one guy who's not able to fly, which is Asgard. This is gonna be a tough one, and I will try and get everybody back in one piece. <laughs> no promises. No promises whatsoever. We've got 19 aliens coming up, and there's a sectopod among them. Sectopods are um, a lot more powerful than any other alien, in my opinion. They can one-shot a soldier. Who's at full health and full armor. At least uh, we got some daylight. Doesn't really matter, but it looks a little bit more friendly. HQ, this is Big Sky. We are in position and awaiting further orders. Once again, Strike one. You are green to deploy. start from the Strike side. This pop. time I think I Strike should get the snipers up in the air unknown. right away. That's one. And let's have a little fun with the battle scanners. Didn't bring him for nothing. Not often that I actually spot aliens with them though. There you go. Incoming. 
Incoming signal from battle scanner. Nothing. Okay. Mm, probably shouldn't advance too quickly. In fact, with a sector pod out there, I'm quite happy just to get people in a decent spot and wait for a bit. I might uh, start triggering alien using just one assault and trying to lure them back to this little group. I think this is a, a nice setup with the snipers high up in the air. Anything that wanders out of the UFO should be dead. Let's give this one turn. Actually... Oh no, that's a medic. We've got two assaults, but one of them is a Psy assault. Actually, I only have one assault. Just put him on Overwatch. And that's Mufatu. Mufatu, you're gonna be the scout. There you are. Next turn, though. I want to be able to get you up there and then down again. I might be a bit quiet, but I, I think this is also a bit of a tense mission. Really. I don't think we're alone out here. With knowing that there are 19 aliens in this puppy. It's, uh, it's quite a slaughter. Hi guys. Welcome to the party. Well done, Mafato. Get down. Okay, so we've got uh, some mutants there, Berserker, standard stuff. Probably not coming out just yet. Forty percent, apparently. Yeah, the the thing about snipers that high up in the air is they don't really have an angle, I guess. Uh, they might. I'm gonna let you stay put because you are well covered. I'm gonna get some guys closer. No doubt, once I do, there's a fly cyber disc coming, flying in from either left or right, flanking the hell out of us. That's what these two guys up in the air are for. Oh crap, you did have a shot. That was a bit too quick. But now you take your reaction shot, it's fine too. This way he's got no cover. It's a start. Looking like a decent position. I'm gonna move up some more people now. For now I don't really have a plan on how I want to go through the UFO. For the moment I just want the group to have a decent spot and take out whatever we find. I'm not gonna start sweeping just yet, let's just thin the field a bit. the idea anyway. Yeah, really enjoying the holidays, I must say. Last couple of weeks when were absolutely swamped. Up until the point where I had back problems and was stressed out and was drinking way too much coffee and all that. And the first day of holiday, which was yesterday, all that just stopped. My back is fine. <laughs> you can see what stress can do to a man. I like my job, don't get me wrong, it's not like I get out of bed and feel crappy every day. But 
was just so swamped. I had a period of about 13 days, I guess, where I just worked all the time. It's good to finally get back to some uh, old-fashioned video gaming, recording some videos. I have a lot of D&D sessions planned for, uh, for, for the upcoming two weeks. And it's about freaking time too. My live campaign has been on hold for about three months now. Nice shot. My players are getting restless. We used to play it about every other week for five or six years. Just one campaign. But uh, I just don't, didn't have the time anymore to put some thought into it. It was just improvising every every session. and Well, if you've been running a campaign for that long, I think that's a bit of a waste, really. I mean, it, it was okay, but I can provide better quality if I have some decent time to prep. And somehow you're not getting any shots in Terabyte, so I'm gonna bring you down a little bit. Let's see if you can join the party. Next turn. I can put you on Overwatch with a pistol, but that's it's it's kind of useless. Yeah, I got a live campaign that's been going on for five or six years, and got an online campaign which I started up about six months ago, uh, where we play over the internet, just audio only, <coughs> mostly doing it on description alone. And occasionally using flock draw, which helps a little bit in mapping out the situation. And that's about all we need. And I have to say, it's shaping up to be a quite a fun campaign. Got uh, two of my Dutch friends in there. One of one of them is in Africa at the moment. He's not playing for, for a couple of weeks, but he will return. And of course, Metal Cain is in there. Which is the whole reason we do it in English. Yeah, I like my position. The, the idea to thin the field, I think it's working. Just stay put, let them walk in. And uh, snipers are just way too effective in this game. And I'm exploiting them happily. Because these guys can just stay put. It's a bit of a shame for everybody else, but uh, all the kills go to the snipers uh, for a while. Could have went for the headshot, but I was pretty sure we we're gonna finish it off. In the zone, it's just brilliant. Everybody was going for double tap in every LP that I saw of this. Everybody's ever I mean, was all crazy about double tap. I like in the zone better. Uh, guys, I think it's about time we go in, right? Or maybe peek around the corner here first. Roger. I've got my eyes on. I wonder where the sector pod is. There's not a lot of room to move in this uh, this ship. I'm spreading my people out again. Dangerous. J-Man's also taking a shot. Excellent, you took out some cover. Might clean some shots up. And still there's no real reason to move. I'm just happy taking out aliens at the moment. Asgard just taking apart the ship. Hopefully if he someday hits an alien. <coughs> Sorry. Once again, not going for the headshot. Kind of want to leave that ability open in case the second part comes around the corner. It would be great if you just walked in.
No, oh, these guys can throw grenades. Those side armors don't uh, give you a lot of extra health. It's a bit of a shame. Terrible, I'm gonna move you. I heard the sector ball, by the way. But first, uh, let's take a shot. Yeah, screw it, let's go for the headshot. There's a guy on Overwatch on the other side of the wall. Which means if I move um, Terabyte a bit further, she will get shot at. Unless, of course, we mind fray a little. Excellent. Now I can move Terabyte up further. I've got a hunch that this particular area it needs to be covered. Roger that. Scanning. On overwatch. <laughs> oh yeah. He was still around. That's it, you're just gonna stand there. Okay, he's got friends on this side now. Negative damage. It's a very passive game, isn't it? I'm just getting my soldiers in position, then just just wait. Just stand there. Aliens will come. It's not rewarded to move around and really hunt. Sometimes it is when you want to flank them, but... Yeah, that's right. Get closer. Doing your laggy thing, no doubt. Mm, yep. It's almost time for the snipers to reload. It's always a good sign if you empty out an entire clip on a sniper rifle. Wow, you killed him. That's pretty damn impressive. Where are you going? Oh, that's a great position. It's just food for the snipers, really. I'm surprised they didn't take a reaction shot. I'm under fire. Okay, we're gonna have a little war of attrition over there. Guess I can move up a little. Does that really help the chances? Yeah, it's time to start reloading a lot of guys. I have no idea what your plan was, but... Oh, j wow, <laughs> just one damage. Not enough ammo. Maybe he knew that I was out of ammo. Wait. Why did my turn end? I'm pretty sure that wasn't everybody. Okay. How much damage was that? I couldn't see. Now he's doing that flanking thing again. As well. Oh yeah, clustered together. <laughs> Idiots. Okay, what's, what's going on here? Is this crashing? This is crashing, isn't it? Can I save the game now and load it? No, saving is not allowed at this time. This I think this is... Uh, a damn shame!
This is a damn shame. I will post this up, but um, I'm not too sure what to do here. I'll uh, at least kill fraps and see if I can do anything. Yeah, I cannot do anything except rotate the camera. Now I cannot even call for the menu in this game. So this is definitely weird. I've got autosave if everything goes right. So I'll just load the game and hopefully not lose too much. I'll see you in a bit if, the, if I restart because I, I can't do anything.